Lucy on Gears. Let's get into the world of Formula One, uh, see what's happening. There's an Italian sporting magazine that has just uh, released an article revealing two four-day, no, no, sorry, four two-day 2014 Formula One tests. Now, I'm assuming that is because next year there's such uh, a change in the regulations that um, they are definitely going to need more time to test. Also, what that is telling us is that Pirelli have already signed a deal for 2014. So we don't really know what's going on over there. Vitaly Petrov, who was, uh, well, let go by Caterham, says he's going to come back to Formula One without his management aid. Because when he first came into Formula One and went to uh, Renault, he came along with 13 million euros. Wow. Just to sit in the car. He's actually got some serious, serious Tom. Red Bull Racing have refuted the reported assumption that James Allison is on the way to um, Lotus. I mean, on the way to Red Bull in replace of Adrian Newey. Speaking of Adrian, I mentioned yesterday when he crashed his Lamborghini on the warm-up lap. Yes. I'll find the video and play it for you. Yeah. It is rather embarrassing. Because <laughs> it's the warm-up lap. <laughs> and the next minute you <laughs> crunch the car in the world. I think we just got a wicket. We've got a wicket! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! 127 for one. Yes! Great. That was slightly psychotic. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. All right, before we get into the big story in terms of uh, Mercedes and Pirelli, let's go through other stories over here. McLaren, and I'm so glad that they've come out, are wholly supportive of Sergio Perez recent aggressive uh, driving and don't believe that uh, he's doing anything radical or inappropriate now there's two ways of looking at this yes he was a little bit over ambitious in monaco now monaco is so difficult to overtake so your frustration gets the better of you he managed to get past his teammate he managed to get past alonso and when he tried to do it on kimmy kimmy went uh, you're not going over there brother and eventually he broke his car but you've got to give him 10 out of 10 for trying but for the rest of it, you sit there and say, hold on, Sergio. It's just not that easy. Uh, it didn't work out. But I, I'm, I'm so glad that McLaren are behind him. So there's two ways of looking at it. The one side is sitting and going, well, he was a little bit overambitious. The other side is, is that next year um, and 2015, don't forget Honda coming to join McLaren. Well, they're going to need some serious funding. Where's that funding going to come from? It's going to come from a little guy called Sergio Perez. Because he's got the richest man in the world, the world, besides uh, Mama Gaddafi. Because Mama Gaddafi's apparently got like $80 billion somewhere, but we don't know about that. And he's dead. But this guy's got the richest living man in the world by the name of Carlos Schlim. He's a Mexican um, uh, telecommunications man who backs Sergio Perez. So if you're McLaren, you just let. Sergio break a couple of cars and, you know, as long as you get speed and get some results. But I find that quite thing. annoying. Why? I think that the best driver should be. No, no, I'm like with you. Money, ta money takes like... No, 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 listen. Don't, don't forget, Sergio Perez is getting paid by McLaren. But he does have, if need be, a big backer in Telmax. No, no, I agree. We've, we've discussed this earlier this season about the pay driver problem. Yeah. But Perez is not a pay driver anymore. He is being paid by McLaren. But he's also brought some Telmex money to, um, to uh, McLaren as well. Renault, also some very good news as well. Renault are very happy that uh, they are getting benefit out of being uh, in Formula One. And I think this is very important because a couple of years ago when um, Fernando Alonso won the championships in 2005, 2006, then he left, went to McLaren, didn't work out, went back to Renault. And then there was the whole big Renault uh, Renault crash gate problem at Singapore and really tainted the image of Renault. So Renault pulled out completely. Now they've come back via the window uh, working with uh, Red Bull and of course now with Lotus. And it's great to see that uh, Renault President Carlos uh, Gon has uh, come out and said uh, Formula One is a big success and the company will continue in the sport as long as it feels that way. So that's very, very good news as well. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Ian has just arrived in his Christmas tree. Maybe we're going to have Christmas in June with Ian. <laughs> it is a bit of a Christmas tree. The more that I see it, it's like, yeah, it's a bit bright. Anyway, 
Valtteri Bottas admits that Williams' current struggles have masked the successes of his rookie Formula One campaign. I've got to agree with him 100%. Uh, the car is not allowing Valtteri Bottas to actually show his true potential. Let's get into this. I mentioned it right up front in the show. Mercedes will have to face an investigation from the FIA's International Tribunal regarding its secret test tire test with Pirelli, while Ferrari has been cleared over, the te over its test with a 2011 car. <laughs> so, the FIA has been waiting for reports from the Monaco stewards before deciding if uh, Mercedes had a case to answer, and it is decided to pass the matter on to the International Tribunal. Now, the International Tribunal uh, consists of uh, we we'll set okay we we'll set up in in 2010. There's a 12 man panel, um, but it's absolutely separate from the FIA governing body. The uh, international tribunal operates totally independently from the other bodies of the FIA and members of the FIA. Mercedes has a case to answer, so we know that that is going to happen. I think it's the 15th of um, uh, June. Okay. Uh, and that is what they will do. According to the FIA statute, the prosecuted party will be given at least 15 days to submit their observation on the charges. Okay, so they will meet and they will tell Mercedes, this is what we believe you are charged for. Mercedes then have 15 days to reply um, and then the hearing will take place. There is a 45-day window which means in theory that even if a hearing is given the go-ahead this week, it could take until the German Grand Prix in July for it to be scheduled. All right. Um, what will the tribunal be looking at? One of Mercedes's explanations for running the 2013 car at the Barcelona test was that it received a notification from the FIA that it would be okay to do so. The FIA has stated, however, that such approval was conditional on the Pirelli test opportunity being available to other teams. Clearly, it wasn't. What they have said is that the testing at Barcelona was breaking the rules, irrespective of any separate agreement that existed with Pirelli. So, what Pirelli may have agreed with Mercedes has got nothing to do with the agreement of the FIA with the teams this is very very uh, important the main thing is what punishment can be handed out well if the international tribunal decides that there's been a breach of the rules then the judging panel will hand out whatever punishment it thinks is appropriate although uh, there have been some suggestions that one sensible solution to ensure parity for the uh, for the teams would be to allow mercedes rivals a similar three-day pirelli test such an option does not appear possible under the fia statutes the fia also states for the fia formula one championship and the fia world rally championship a penalty consisting of the withdrawal of points over the whole of the championship may be imposed so if they are found guilty and it looks, you know, it looks as if you're going to the FIA and the inter internal uh, tribunal, you are in a little bit of shtum. If anything, they might lose constructor points. Okay. They more than likely. All right. We'll find out in the next couple of weeks or months. All depends how long uh, they put this all to uh, bed. At the next intersection, turn. On Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time. <laughs>